this circuit's natural condition is closed when the cart comes back with something in it. It opens. What happens when the cart comes back empty? How does it open? Today's a redstone day, and I, as you can see, I have two, two iron golem slime killing farms, and uh, I link them. So the cart on the far item there on the far farm is linked to this farm that's right behind me, and they go into the same collection area right here. We got that slime. Okay, so you can see I've got one cart coming there, and then I've got hoppers coming here from the other cart. So there's hoppers from that cart. There's hoppers from the other cart. I have a two-way switch back here. And I'm going to walk you through the design and construction of this switch. Its natural state is closed. Watch this. Okay, it's closed. The cart comes through, it hits. It only goes through when it has slime in it. See, there it goes. Only goes through when it has slime. That's easy. I've got, I've got a uh, detection rail in there, detector rail. And it says, oh, you've got something inside you. I'm going to open up. But how does it open when the cart's coming back empty? You're going to learn that with me in today's Let's Do Redstone Together. Okay, so here we go. Basic setup. So this is very similar to the XP farm uh, that we have. However, the difference is this gate is closed by default as opposed to open. Okay, and the reason for that is when the cart's running around. Okay, I was put an empty cart on here. I don't want to miss all the slime that may collect on top. So the cart's going to come in, boom, and it goes back out. Okay? Very simple. Nice and easy. The cart just does its its routine, its tour, as long as there is product to be picked up up top. Once it has some product, we're going to pop. Oh, well, that didn't work out well, did it? Oops. <laughs> it would help if I hit the right button and did not. Watch, it's going to hit and it's going to go again. <laughs> nice. I love it. Okay, there. So now I got material. Okay, we put that uh, redstone lamp in there. It comes through. Pink. Goes through. And then it continues on to its dropping point. And when it comes back, it hits the block and it has no chance to pick up more material. So, how do we take care of this? All right. I like what we have here. How do we get this to open up? So, I, went I did a little bit of pre wiring. Um, I like to have redstone just before a uh, trap door just my own preference but we're gonna come in here okay you see I've got a little line set up there so detector detector rail is gonna go here like this okay a little bit of redstone comes down into here to a repeater and I put this repeater on four ticks why because I want this to stay on as long as possible see there's a redstone torch back here as well okay now watch what happens when we put a full hopper in and then an empty hopper comes back okay we got our material it's going goes through okay so now we're gonna put an empty cart on here alright no items watch what happens when it goes past that detector rail give it a budge here it goes and it opened okay it's gonna go around comes in here boom nothing just keeps going back and forth okay so really simple you guys really simple those of you who didn't know detector rails they will pick up when an item goes past it whether it's full or not the thing that makes a difference here is the comparator is there something in that in that cart to set off the comparator and put a signal through now what do we have for timing so when it goes in we got fast fast timing to this torch so that this block gets pulled out right away okay then this goes back and um, the reason I did that is so this can push out and come back before this extends back out again so we have four ticks of delay on that repeater okay on this one 
I have a single repeater with one tick. All right, hits this, goes into there. I, I didn't want to make a long delay or anything on this one. Um, the number of redstone dust that I have coming here gives it just enough delay that it comes out just after that pulls back. I'll show you when I'm testing these things, I get rid of the comparator. I pop this and watch this. Okay, so you can see power turned off that came back right away instant is what one two three three points and then that one has I think eight ticks or eight eight uh, drops okay I break this that pulls back and that comes out and the reason see that's delayed the reason it comes off slower is because there's four ticks of delay on there okay so I hope that gives you guys a little bit of insight to the uh, design and construction of that part of this system okay very simple now again coming down here this this um, detector rail picks up the the sense that yes something's passing over me and it sends an electrical light out down to here okay all right so there you go that's how you make a two-way switch for a cart that's going from its uh, area of collection to its drop-off point and then back to its area of collection. I hope you guys liked this. If you did, hit that like button. And if you wanted some more, if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. This is CSM Master signing out.